little video about the last week on the uranium markets. It really has been an extraordinary week uh, in the uranium space. First, uh, we started the week uh, knowing that uh, Yellow Cake was raising uh, some capital to buy 3.5 million uh, pounds from Casatom Prom. Uh, next thing you know, uh, Denison and UEC are also raising some money to buy uh, pounds uh, from a spot market. That spot market was declining pretty, pretty rapidly until $27. And with these uh, moves uh, of the producers and yellow cake in the market, we've seen how uh, Spot uh, has uh, started to rally uh, almost until $30. And now we're sitting at $29.50. Uh, so in that front, extraordinary moves uh, by the producers, uh, creating a paradigm shift, uh, I would say, in the, in the uranium markets and how they operate. Uh, next, uh, on Wednesday, uh, we had the Casatom from uh, presenting their financial results for 2020, saying that they are not going to overproduce, even though their inventories are really down and in the minimum requirements uh, from them, but they are not going to overproduce and they are going to keep being uh, pretty consistent in their approach. Also, they spoke about a couple of things. Uh, they are thinking about going to a spot market to cover those pounds that they need to deliver to Yellow Cake. And another thing interesting in their conversation was uh, the Chinese influence on the uranium markets. Uh, they imply that the Chinese government uh, wants to build uh, some stockpiles in uranium and that uh, they are going to move uh, quicker than the, than the utilities in, in, in the order to, to secure those uh, pounds in the market. So, extremely interesting. And finally, uh, yesterday uh, we had um, the discussion panel uh, with uh, Mike Alkin, uh, Dustin Garrow and, and Jeff, um, uh, who's a utility buyer. Um, and those were pretty good comments about the uranium market, uh, implying that uh, long-term contracts are being uh, discussed right now. And, and a really good uh, phrase or, uh, from Dustin Garrow was that the marginal producer is going to uh, put the long-term contract price. It's not going to be the big players. Uh, the big players are not enough to, se to secure supply to the market, so the long-term contracts are going to be dictated by the marginal producers uh, of uranium. So they were implying that long-term contracts at some time will be exceeding 70 or $75. So extremely bullish stuff this week in uranium. Also, the stocks have been really volatile. Uh, going up a lot at the beginning of the week. And then Thursday, yesterday, a big downturn in the in the stocks, but we've seen uh, a lot of interest in this market and a lot of good developments on, on the uranium market last week. So really interesting stuff. You can watch uh, the videos in my channel uh, where I covered the Casatom Prom presentation. I also covered the Canaccord Genuity uh, Uranium Panel with Mike Alkin and Dustin Garrow. So you can watch those in my channel and we will continue to cover all things uranium and other commodities also in my channel. So have a great week and continue uh, invested in, and interested in uranium. You can subscribe to my channel and leave a like uh, on this video if you would uh, like to have more content about uranium in, in this channel. So thank you very much and see you soon.